In season three of From, there's a new magical item that seems to have powerful abilities and significance for the abandoned camp. In the first episode of From Season 3, Episode 1, Jim and Kenny, who are stuck together, stumble discover an abandoned camp that has cabins and food gardens to feed the town's inhabitants. They are shocked, nevertheless, by several carved wooden figures that appear to be watching over the camp. The statues are constructed of sticks and branches and have faces that resemble people. The objectives of the monuments are not made clear because no one resides in the camp. In From Season 3, Episode 3, when Jade, Kenny, Christy, and Dale revisit the deserted camp, they further conjecture about the possible purposes of the sculptures for the previous occupants of the cabins. The statues join other artifacts that appear to have magical abilities and purposes, such as the music box, the talisman, the symbol that Jade is obsessed with, and Frum's enigmatic beasts and creatures. From Season 3 is getting closer to disclosing the real history of the human. Like wooden sculptures, given that Jade has seen powerful visions at the camp and even shattered one of the statues, Characters from Season 3 speculate that the wooden figurines could have a purpose akin to that of a talisman. However, the wooden figurines might deter from supernatural creatures more like a scarecrow than a tiny thing that can be grasped or hung to keep off demons. Though it's the character's current working theory, it's unclear if that's truly what the statues are meant to represent. At the abandoned camp, where they would be able to test out this notion, the characters haven't yet been hounded by monsters. It's also unclear if the wooden statues were meant to fend off nighttime monsters in the town or some other evil force in the confined world by the previous camp dwellers. Since no one is still in the camp, it is assumed that a tragedy occurred there before Frum's current time frame, indicating that the totems were unable to protect their tribe from the greatest threat. In From Season 3, Episode 3, Jade also experiences horrific images of a dead man consuming blood from a skull at the camp, suggesting that the history of the area and the sculptures may be far darker than previously thought. Over the course of its first three seasons, Frum has taught viewers to trust their instincts when they sense something is off in the confined town. Jade's obsession with the symbol revealed to him Christopher's troubled childhood past. Boyd correctly deduced that the town was manipulating his visions of Abby, and Jim's phone call from his son, Thomas, was actually a ruse orchestrated by the town's evil. Forces, unfortunately, for the stranded protagonists, not many discoveries, like the talisman, have produced favorable results. Thus, there's a good chance that the wooden statues from Season 3 at the camp serve a more sinister function. Jade's terrifying dreams of the man who was nailed to a tree and drank blood from a human skull seem to corroborate this. The remaining camp member's fate is unknown, but it might have something to do with the deceased man and the totems participating in cult-like rituals there. The wooden statues may harbor strong forces that support the town's supernatural threats rather than acting as scarecrows to keep people safe. In the remaining episodes of From Season 3, Jade is likely to face some severe repercussions for shattering one of the wooden statues, which seem to possess magical energy and defensive or protective abilities. Jade hacked apart a wooden statue and used one of its sticks to pry open the claw in an attempt to liberate Christie's foot from a bear trap. Lingered on the totems a little too long afterward, implying that this action may cause the object to either release some mystical forces against the protagonists or fail to keep them safe from the horrors of the woods. It's likely that the wooden statues contain evil supernatural energies inside of some kind of lockbox, which is released when the buildings are broken. Furthermore, shattering one of the statues could release an evil energy into the woods, as the statues may be trapping bad powers inside the deserted camp rather than protecting it from outside threats. After Jade broke the wooden totem, the dead guy began sipping blood from the skull. 
It appears that after the statue is destroyed, Jade's hallucinations at Frum's camp would only get worse. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.